Welcome back to The Wonderful Life. We're Tim and Deanna. Today, the Norwegian Viva is docked in beautiful and charming St. John's, Antigua. Join us on a tour of the boardwalk alongside the harbor, a mini ship tour, and so much more. Without further ado, let's go. Good morning, everyone. We are day three on the Norwegian Viva and uh, just kind of getting ready to head out. We're going to go grab some Starbucks and go into town for a short time and do a little shopping. Particularly for aloe or some kind of an after sun after yesterday's uh, excursion. excursion mishap. <laughs> so windy. Well, into that again. It's so windy on the boat that um, I was afraid I'd lose my hat. So. Um, that's the one area I really didn't apply mm -hmm. any sunscreen to because I assumed I'd have a hat. Uh, bad call. Yeah. Uh, so we have a few things to find there. Um, oddly, NCL, at least in the regular staterooms, like this balcony stateroom, they don't include regular ha lotion hand either. lotion, that sort so. of thing. So we got to pick something like that up. Yes. Unexpected. Small. A lot but of people pack that. We don't. So gives us an excuse to do a little shopping. Which yes. So today we are in Antigua, St. John's, Antigua, and uh, follow along. See you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Good, how are you doing? Starbucks is on. Oh, family balloon twisting workshop. That sounds exciting. Uh, my dreams come true. Today. Way to go, hide ducks as well. I was gonna say, where are they? Come along with us as we hide some ducks. <laughs> I think you should turn it. It's too hard. I think people want to see me. They don't want to see. No, really, the they want to see the ship. Duck too, hidden. <laughs> These little glass blocks are kind of a nice touch. <laughs> Real Starbucks on the ship. Premium plus drink package. Helps. You are correct. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Are you filming? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get together? Not no. today. Experience. <laughs> Thanks. Cute. I didn't notice though. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, so we were on the right spot here. The main port area is full of mundane shops and congested streets. We chose to walk into a more charming, less crowded courtyard found along the harbor boardwalk. Yeah, that clipper ship off in the distance that came in as we were rolling out of bed. So we could see that right outside our stateroom window. And the sun is breaking through the clouds a little, so... It's a nice little boardwalk alongside the pier. Hello, Mom! Piranha Joe. Yeah, I was That's a staple. Yeah, I always thought it was a clothing line too, and it maybe is. it's a combination. It's a it's a Looks, combo. They've got an official store, and this is the Captain's Tavern Rum Bar. That is true. Stay on the boardwalk, and we're walking. Kind of nice. Oh, look at that. Yes. This is to put on no, your... No, absolutely not. No, you're supposed to put this on your stateroom door, I think. No. Just like that. Everyone will turn it upside down. I know. Part of the deal, I think. It does... When they say store-wide sale, they don't make it clear. Of course not. They leave you wondering <laughs> what that means exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's wonderful as a lot of these t-shirts are. I don't know if I could fit another t-shirt in my drawer at home. Very true. You made a valid point. Very scenic. 
Um, these are not the Oh, you never know. Ooh, it's a nice shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Okay. I don't have a credit card or anything, so you everything. Like that was there. convenient of you. Yeah. Here we are. You see the little shutters up above, kind of a Pirates of the Caribbean thing. South African wines in the restaurant. Look at the bottles in the form of like a tree. Oh wow. This is very quaint. It's pretty. Morning. It's a nice little courtyard. I'm just gonna stick to nice. this somewhere. That's oh, the plan. Right there, boom. We're stickering. <laughs> so, like a local artist, I could take the. Thank you for taking that. So yeah, all of his art is here. It's very cool. Very cool. Prints of the artwork. Give you an idea of what the different media, different artists here and there, mm -hmm. um, Antigua. The name of the shop we are in is called Zimmy, which is a little off the beaten path. They do have uh, voodoo dolls here. I don't know <laughs> if we want to bring one of those home. I might. <laughs> this seems like the place if you're, if you're voodoo doll shopping. That is nice. Yeah, West Indies. It is just a Mm-hmm. And they're numbered though, that's seven hundred of nine hundred or something along those lines. Let's go. Gallery. Daily life. We only had a big house to put stuff in. So any YouTube bloggers out there that want a cute little knickknack behind their <laughs> home update studio? Those are really cool and handmade. But this is kind of what you come to the islands to find and not a duty-free shop in our I, case. I like the, the quaint off-the-beaten-path stores. Yeah, handmade jewelry, that sort of thing. A mouse t-shirt for our mouse if we had one. Exactly. Now we've got to get a shelf for a ship we need a bigger house for the paintings and we need to find a mouse for our mouse t-shirt. They do have their own rum, Skullduggery rum brand. Very nice and nice. just the colors too. Hold on. Who are these attractive people? I wonder. Yeah, this is a pretty spot. Flowers and uh, birds and such. Palm trees. A quaint little restaurant. Oh, almost got taken down by a morning dove. 
I don't know what kind of fruit that is up there. I wonder if there's a name for it. Hey, there's the big banana holding company. There's a tree growing through this restaurant. I see. Up to the canopy way. Yeah, the, all the restaurants just look like what you were thinking when you saw Caribbean Island. Belgian waffles and ice cream. Yeah, just the little courtyards are just really uh, special. My favorite spot so far was that little courtyard. Yep, it's very pretty and quaint. The best part was that cute couple on the sticker, I think. <laughs> Some friendly birds. <laughs> well, we achieved our objective and I got my aloe. We got some lotion, since we don't have that in the room. I bought a shirt, which was unexpected. Yep. So you might see me in a new shirt for once. <laughs> All right, we are in the observation lounge, getting a late, almost light breakfast. Um, get some views of Antigua. the lay of the land for breakfast options here. What do I know? They're asking about the camera. Oh, this, this is our pocket too at ZGI. We, we also have an Osmo action, which is re like a GoPro, but really small and yeah. real high resolution. So we do our yeah, but he's snorkeling. I'm just videotaping you yeah, I, I can looking at that. me. With, I can see that. Yeah, <laughs> admiring me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you could put that in your pocket. Yeah, they've been, yeah. they've been, they've been improved it, and they have a, of course, they have like an Apple, you know, where they, you get the iPhone this, and then about a month later, there's a better oh, one. Yeah. That's now there's, what there's to what, yeah. there's one yeah, step above where it's got a, a flip out screen oh, and a microphone that we have a Bluetooth mic, but that one will pair with any of their cameras. So. Yeah. Meanwhile, we will wind up about with eight different microphones, and each one works with a different camera. And you know which one it pairs with because that's the one you forgot to bring. I kind of remind the story that how do you count and tell the difference between a weed and a desirable point? If you pull on it, it comes out easy. It was a desirable point. Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna go back and eat. So we are. Still up in the observation lounge, we picked up a light breakfast, um, met some really nice people on the ship, and ended up talking till our food got cold. So we'll probably be getting a light lunch, or maybe just a regular probably lunch at this point. Probably a regular lunch. I didn't eat much. I had um, a very small mini croissant, um, chocolate croissant, and it was good. I'll say the word tasty because Tim hates it. Mm -hmm. It was tasty. Um, but... I will still defer back to the celebrity cruise ships for oh, the yeah. bread service for sure. Um, um, and then we had this little egg patty. Um, mine had, I think, some ham in it. Mm -hmm. And it was really good, but it was ice cold, so I didn't finish it. It's very hard to eat cold eggs. And that's on us. It's also th towards the end of the. Yeah, they the closed at 11, and it's here. now 11.25, so um, we yeah. got the very last ending of it, but um, we did meet some really nice people. We uh, we met um, Mike and Sue, and we also met Roxanne and Brian. Um, everyone's kind of been really nice so far. Everyone that we've mm -hmm. met, we've gotten along with, and... Uh, so nice to be back on yeah. Norwegian, <laughs> unless we just happened to be our sailing was was unfortunate yeah. on our celebrity cruise, but um, Although, so far like, so good. I, I, the people that we did meet, though, were very nice, but it was just, we're only on day two 
day full day two, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess technically it's day three, but it's full day two. And so there's still time for people to be rude and horrible to us. That's not what I'm saying. (laughs) I'm just saying it took a long time for us to kind of. Thank you. It took a long time for us to get to know people on that ship. And when we did, it was great and we had fun. But here, it's just, we're meeting people right away again. So, and in, mm-hmm. and they're not all in the Facebook group. It's other people, too. Mm-hmm. So, so far, so good. I'm mm-hmm. enjoying our cruise. No uh, complaints. I've, I've got my mm-hmm. aloe, so I, I'm i going to recover. And Antigua is a really cute little town. Um, we didn't really go off the beaten path at all. We were originally going to try and find a beach, but it's kind of overcast today, and it was raining this morning. So, um, and then we thought we'd stay on the ship, but now I'm kind of glad that we didn't because we found, I mean, it's, it's really kind of cute. The shopping is very nice mm-hmm. as you've already seen, but yeah, yeah no, it's yeah, very cute. If you get off the main street, um, get in some of the little, uh, cul-de-sacs and corridors, uh, mm-hmm. you're under Courtyards, some, yeah. Yeah. Some really quaint, uh, awnings and, and. The trees are really uh, exotic. And, uh, little birds around, um, and yeah, seeing you know a local artist shop was a was the highlight. Mm-hmm. And um, if we were in the mood for some rum, there's some really cute little rum yeah, bars and things there. Yeah, it was a little early. I think if we would have eaten first and then gotten off the ship, maybe we would have grabbed a snack and a uh, some rum drinks. But uh, we're gonna have enough of that tomorrow. All right, so. so we're gonna w- explore <laughs> a bit and eat a real meal. Yep. Instead of our cold. Come along with us. Bye. Come along with us. No, we don't want them to come with us. All right, let's go. <laughs> what? Don't go there with it. <laughs> this is the bottom so of this the w- is the wave water slide, which I don't know. It almost it's on a tube. It might be doable, honestly. Uh, this is the Waves Pool Bar, which is where we had our sail away party, but it's, it's a very small space. The pool is also yeah. rather small. Uh, this is up Split. to get to the top of the water slide. The wave water slide is up here. Well, let's There's take also a, a sun deck and a children's aquatic park up here. We haven't yeah, seen that Yeah, we haven't that seen yet. that yet. Let's go. Uh, we will shortly. Yeah, there's the staircase to get up to the top level oh there it is that's kind of cool for kids Mm -hmm. it's like a splash park (laughs) let's try this where we stand the yellow this is an instructional video wave until Uh, the pink light turns off we don't have that yet do we hit the record button yeah five oh this way it's this way where is it? Oh, it's way up there. Uh-huh. It's still going. <laughs> That's a long wave. We are creating your super selfie video. This is an interesting concept. <laughs> hmm? There it is. That's it. Oh, look at that. How fun. Uh, oh. <laughs> so far away. It's a super selfie. Okie doke. Mission accomplished. Five dollars for that super selfie. This is how you get onto the slide, though, I think, right? Yep, and there's okay. also a few sun decks and Got things. Got it. Here. Um that is the formal entrance to the wave water it's slide. It's closed. That's why no one is on it. It's probably too windy. So this is the entrance of the Surfside Cafe, which is the buffet. Not super big. Good morning. morning. Pizza. Pasta. Pasta. A grill station uh, with sausages and uh, chicken cutlets. Oh, well, a pork pork. cordon bleu. Never That's different. Uh, Hot entrees. Those are little pepperoni and little ham and pineapple. A noodle bar. Looks like they have a carving station today. Maybe they always do. Fruits. 
and the dessert. Oh, they're very fancy desserts, though. Yeah. So they've got Veranda. Pike's Place. And Verona, Verona. which is a dark roast. But yeah. yeah, you just swipe your... Your room key. Key, and you've got coffee. Yep. Not just ordinary coffee, which is kind of a nice touch. Yeah. I'm sure that's included at the Premium Plus. Hmm. And, and a, a bar. bar. And then here's the grill. We did kind of pop through here yesterday. I don't a know if we... burger bar. Yeah. Um, all the toppings and... and there's hot dogs such. and... Um, Hi, good morning. morning. Burgers, french fries. Looks very good. Hi, guys. Um, so we decided to take a quick break for lunch. And we are in the uh, Surfside Grill, which is attached to the buffet. Um, which is kind of a nice feature because they don't have this on a lot of MCL ships. They did on the celebrity ship that we were just on, on the Apex. But um, they do burgers and hot dogs and it looks like some type of pulled beef sandwich, like a barbecue beef. Um, all the toppings, some they have potato salad, coleslaw, french fries. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a, a Swiss, Swiss mushroom burger. Tim has, I don't know what he has. I uh, yeah, I have a shredded beef sandwich, kind of like a barbecue beef. I don't know. We shall see. Some coleslaw, um, french fries. And this is where the entrance to the Vibe is. It's not so bad. No. We're on the aft of the ship now, so we're on the back of the ship. Um, it's not as bad as the front of the ship. It's still a little breezy. Mm -hmm. But they have... Um, like day beds or cabanas that you could rent, I think by, for the day and or for the week, if you uh, buy passes, they have these um, kind of soaking pools slash, I guess they're bubbly, but they're not hot, hot. We're I, getting all of the exhaust fumes um, coming off of the P&O ship. ship alongside. No wonder it's so empty <coughs> up here because... They must be getting ready to leave soon because that's like... It's, heavy smoke. Yeah, this particular part of the ship also uh, attaches to the Haven retreat up at the top. Oh, let's grab a drink. Okay. Since we're here. All right, let's get a drink. Or let's do you grab a drink and move on. on. Hey, hello. We haven't met you yet. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <We're> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do um, a Vorza and yes. soda. A Vorza and soda. Sir? Did you go outside today? We did for a little oh. bit. You're uh, Michael, right? Yes, We've sir. heard a lot about you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your last sailing and then you're headed off, oh, I've yes, heard. Yes, 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 yes. This yeah. is my, uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, just After me? Him? Yeah. Ah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. We, we've also met Brenda and Mike, who oh, yeah, speak yeah. highly of mm -hmm. you as well. Mm -hmm. But we, um, oh yeah, well, Brenda and Katie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris, uh, they always follow us. I, I yeah. Yeah. heard, yeah. I heard. So I'll have a, a whistle pig, so old fashioned, here? Chicago, oh, Chicago, or Chicago, Chicago, Sh Chicago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're Tim and Deanna. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, we've been in here a few days. We did get off the ship for a little bit. We walked around and did a little shopping. I no, have never. No, no, how old? Yeah, I had not heard of that vodka until I sat in this chair right here. Um, and I asked, I asked about it, and I saw that it was from Poland, and I've been drinking it ever since. It's very smooth. It's probably so smooth that you could drink it straight up without having to worry about mm -hmm. it. See, I finished the last bottle, so and I get ice. to watch oh, you open the new one. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more bottle here, so no worries. <laughs> thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Onward. Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, thank you. This is the uh, racetrack, I think. Oh, it's the dry, oh, one of the dry the slides, too. Slide, yeah. There's two dry slides on the ship. One's the drop, the other's the rush. Um, they're free, from what I'm told. Ooh, 
there's sound effects? Oh no, that's the boat next door. What? I thought as soon as you enter the drop Oh, I zone. see. So you take these little, they're like rugs. Carpets and. And then you step in and you go down. Oh yeah, we're approaching the fun zone. The, yep. Um, mini golf and darts and uh, such. They have disclosures that if you have a bad heart and a bad back to not ride. So this is the Speedway Bar, which we heard mm -hmm. and saw people on yesterday. We've got a leaderboard for everyone who's yeah. driven the track. You have to be at least 55 inches in order to drive. So that's four feet not quite five feet, a little less than five feet, like four and a half feet tall. And maximum height is 82 inches. Okay. And a maximum weight of 265, so. Okay. They have very strict requirements to be able to drive. And this must be the rush. It is, and it's open. Yep. A uh, minimum of 48 inches in order to ride. Um, it's another dry slide, which they're closing, looks like right now, maybe because of the rain. Um, okay. Yeah, this is a, I thought this was a double person. He's in our video, he's in our video. <laughs> um. <laughs> Board. Yep. This, I don't know what you do with that. I think, is it like a table tennis thing? Oh, that's right. It's ping pong in a tube. There's the ping yeah, pong. Yeah, that would be my guess, like ping pong. Mm -hmm. There's the racetrack check in. Uh, that is pickleball, very small oh, pickleball. It is. Um, that's a nice little pickleball court. Oh. And there's a timer, so you're. Uh, They've got beer pong. Lots of that. There's the regular ping pong. Yeah, foosball. This is kind of fun. I'm surprised there isn't anybody under here. It's not wet. You're away from the elements, but it's still kind of breezy. Nice. They've got the rules to beer pong as well. Uh huh. Oh, there. That's a sub soccer, is what it says. Yeah, the house rules to sub soccer, which is the little tables. And the speedway, you just head up. The yeah, suite. so they do offer speedway passes, like you could buy them for the entire time you're here and, and race unlimitedly when they're open. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, I think it's $15 a person for one yeah. like four minute ride. You can go up to the viewing platform and then get Okey a doke. lay of the track. The little laser guns. Yes, because you could shoot the bracers. Yeah, it could speed them up, I think, uh -huh. by hitting a certain target. Yeah, it's, it's a um, light at the top of the car. Deanna is going to sit in one of the racers just to give everyone an idea Only of if it's the not size. Wet. Even if it's wet. Just All right. Put your cocktail down and. Put the pedal to the metal. Ouchie! A little squeaky there. Yeah, it's, right. a, it's a long way to the gas pedal there. Yeah, it is. I'm 5'5". Five, five. I would so, assume it's adjustable in some way. Maybe the seats are adjustable. I would assume, but I don't know. Now, how to get out of here is yeah, the question. Yeah, that should be fun to watch. <laughs> Slippery too, by the way. Mm-hmm. 
just a little slippery drama. You're making me nervous. Will she uh, wind up in the infirmary uh -huh. on this one? Score, and you've got your drink back. Oh. Podiums, when you finish your race, they put the times and your name, and you stand in the appropriate spot. Uh-huh. Mini golf. Um, Which you have to pay for on this ship. Right. What was that? Ten dollars a person? Five dollars a person? Something mm -hmm. like that. And then you rent the dartboards yeah. for the day, and you can oh, have a bunch yes. of friends over. It's probably something you want to do if you've got a big enough group, group. and you can divide the expense. Uh, each little dart room comes with a kiosk where you can. It's a nice little just, room, yeah. You just, just scan your card. And right here, and, and right. then you set the time for how long you want to um, play. And they have different kind of interactive games in their mini golf. I mean, the photo booth is part of the mini golf course. They've got a trivia um, where the ball will go in a better place if you get the answers right. Um, this is almost a pinball mini golf so it, it, I mean you're paying for this but it's a little more um, high-end but in this case it's a real dart board surface it's not a, a plastic yeah, it's not dip. plastic they're gonna be um, metal darts oh look so you get your scores it, it is interactive though so it keeps track of what your score is mm -hmm. on that TV. Yeah, so it's not like a watch the football game TV. Yeah. It's a nice room. It smells like it's my bigger father's than the car. ones on the other ship. Nice. Mm-hmm. I'll meet you out here. It's called Nama. I've heard it's very good. I would eat there. It's but, very bright. Um, Small. Tim won't eat sushi, so there's no point in wasting a specialty dining credit. Um, this would be the hallway that leads to the, the art improv area, but this is the improv comedy club right here. Um, Sid Norman's is where we lived every evening. This is our favorite. Yeah, do you want to do the, the inside ship. without people? Yeah, without people. Mm -hmm. Just a quick peek. It's it's a very small venue for Sid Norman's. So if you don't get here early, say an hour early, you most likely won't get a seat. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Master Class of Pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> I got something. Let me, let me close the door because I need to. I got, I got uh, I think you canceled the whole a show. <laughs> here. Every time someone comes late to my trivias, I will say this is a Spanish class. <laughs> and they will live. They will live. So you will have more chances to win, okay? Maybe it's non-slip glass. I don't know. Phew, Score. that's cool. I don't remember seeing this last time we walked by here. AstroTurf, this is just like a, sort of a monolith kind of thingy. Metal sculpture. Yeah, lots of that. A chrome here, like a tin foil, and this is the rock, paper, and scissors, scissors that I heard about. Slides. Yeah, both of the uh, dry slides. It looks like. 
I think because one was on one side, one was on the other. So one of these, this must be the racing slide. So I think there's two single and you race the other person down. Think so? Yeah. The little infinity pools. It's crowded in there. A bar. The Solaire bar. Oh, nice view. Mm -hmm. I thought that P&O would have been gone by now. So they've been warming up for a long time. So this is the, well, on the breakaway class ships that's called the waterfront. This is called, I think, Ocean Front, right? On the Viva? I don't know, I believe so. Oh, ice cream. I guess we're there, we may as well. Uh huh. Since we're here. Chocolate, vanilla, and swirl. My goodness. What? Poor technique. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh. Yep. And we are by the whiskey bar. Good evening from the Belvedere Bar, which is next to Cagney's Steakhouse and the Commodore Main Dining Room. Um, one bar we haven't been to yet, way back then in the corner on deck. Um, it was a, a somewhat productive day and just kind of relaxed. We did take a little nap this afternoon and now we're uh, a, a cocktail before dinner, I guess I should say. Free dinner guy there. Well, we did our first trivia contest, which didn't go very well. We uh, five out of we'll twenty. Five out of seven. No, oh, 20. was it twenty? Yeah. You yeah. can't even get the numbers. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that was over in Sid Norman's. Uh, real fun host. Uh, so we're not cut out for uh, trivia contests. But, so anyway, uh, we are going to go ahead and enjoy our cocktails. Cheers. Back here. Cheers. And um, and then we're going to go ahead. We have dinner at Onda, and it is the Italian restaurant that I'm board. Really looking forward to that because um, we typically don't eat Italian on NCL. Vodka, Tina, and the others. This is it? We don't really like it. It's not very good, but we've heard some very good things about this restaurant. Thank you for coming. We'll talk to you after dinner. Bye. More dirty. More dirty. Bye. Bye. How did you two meet? Don't hold judgment on me here. She was a prostitute. She was a prostitute. <laughs> Keep it a little bit. Before, before we get into more details, was that a match? Yes. Okay. Hey everyone. Uh, let's see. It is, we're wrapping up the day that we're in Antigua. Oh, we had an amazing dinner at Onda, which is the Italian restaurant on board. I think we mentioned we were hoping that it would be better than La Cucina on the other uh, NCL ships, and it was. It, I, couldn't say anything more about it. Lots of food. Um, yeah, they give you a choice between one appetizer and then a pasta and then a, a main course on top of that or two appetizers, either one pasta or one main course thing. So um, in my case, I got two appetizers. I got the uh, kind of a grilled octopus, which is with some I don't know what kind of bean that was. I, I think it was like a lentil, not a lentil bean. Um, a fava bean or something. I don't know. Yeah, like beige. with corn. Um, that was 
good. Is it not the best we've had? I think other than um, I mean, we're comparing it to the best, but it's still it was still good. It was good. It, I, I'm going to use the word tasty. Um, it was tasty, but it was a little yeah, tough. Yeah, the, the flavor was perfect. Yeah, the texture was a little funny. Um, I had a. Um, margarita pizza or margarita pizza i don't know what's the proper <laughs> pronunciation in italy but um that was really better than i expected um i um, had a piece of that as well yeah if you watched our celebrity uh, pizza tasting video or our pizza tasting on the um, celebrity apex it was just as good as that it very was very much like that yeah. um and but it, it who can eat that much and then we haven't even gotten to the main course right and um deanna's you had what you oh, I did the it was like a fried calamari and shrimp and and zucchini and I got it because I figured Tim and I would share it and I guess we kind of did but we didn't eat the whole thing the shrimp were very good mm -hmm. calamari was fine nothing to write home about um yeah it was it was just okay I thought it was good but would I order it again? Probably not because it's so large and there were other appetizers on the menu that I would want to try. So that left me with just the pasta or the, the other main course. So I went with, what is it, par, is it? Pa 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 Papadeli. Papadeli with... Um, Bolognese. But it was three different meats in there, so... That, it was veal, beef, and pork. Yeah. I had the same thing for my second, or my, I guess that was the first part of my entree. I... It was so good. It was homemade pasta. Um, the sauce was amazing. I yeah. It was I a shame. I, I probably could have just left one of those first two items off and just had yeah that um, one appetizer and the and the pasta, and I'd have been happy because I was so full before it even got there. Um, and then for my mm. second entree, I got the veal milanese. Uh, which is basically a veal cutlet. I'm, I can make this at home. I, I mean, I don't typically buy veal, but I make it with a chicken or a, a pork sometimes. It's basically something that I could make, but veal was very good. Um, and it came with an arugula salad. Um, yeah, no, I mean, we used the second specialty dining um, for this particular meal. Um, dessert was good too, I but it was very <laughs> difficult to finish. I got the tiramisu, which is pretty good, and I, I can't remember what Tim got. It was <laughs> like a caramel kind of a custardy with uh, chocolate gelato and what they said were like a chocolate chip toffee cookie with they were just chocolate biscottis biscotti chocolate chip chocolate biscotti. chip biscottis and um, they were it was fine i tasted it it was mm -hmm. very sweet they were trying to push that on me as well and i like dessert but i don't like crazy sweet chocolate desserts like i'm not one of those big big chocolate on top of chocolate on top of chocolate people so i opted uh for this classic italian tiramisu instead and i was able to get a wine i was hoping to find on the other uh menus at the different restaurants oh, we've been it was at very good but since it's the italian restaurant uh, i ordered the brunello which is the probably the, the top uh, Tuscan wine you could find on any menu and yeah this, it was very good yeah this was a da Vinci I think but it was mm -hmm. better than I, any da Vinci Chianti I've been mm -hmm. able to find back home good. so yeah it, 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 it was top-notch after dinner we yeah. went <laughs> we wound we, up we, going to um, what was it called it was not so, the not so, not so newly newly game, game which was in the, the main theater. theater and that was funnier than I expected it I was, I was awful for the people that were participating. I mean, they were exposing <laughs> your personal life to a, a ship full of people. Not only that, but they record the show and they play it on the, um, the TV. Over and over yeah. and over again. <laughs> and um, there were quite some interesting stories that were, uh, that were told tonight, but it, it was, it, overall, it was a very good show. It was funny and it's mm -hmm. run by the, the cruise director, Simon. Yeah, that was a very lean entertainment night. Mm -hmm. um, no big shows, no big comedians, no big. Uh, it, it was just a f mostly a game show day and night mm -hmm. today. A lot of trivia contests and things. Um, so we yeah, we avoided the casino, which was wise after the last Probably. time we Although were there. Although I'm sure it was busy. Went 
up to the observation lounge bar and had a nightcap. Nightcap, but we're noticing now since there's not that much to do tonight that people decided their thing to do was to drink and we saw a lot of lethal Nothing wrong intoxication to the it, point it where it was it was kind of scary i thought that people, there were people yeah. who were just gonna like throw up yeah. <laughs> at the bar or on the way back to their the, cabins yeah the ship is spill. kind of uh listing because of higher winds and so that com combined with alcohol and there were definitely some people i were was kind of scared for walking mm -hmm. tonight for sure i, guess, it, I know they're is. gonna hurt like i was on that snorkel excursion and, and i not, <coughs> nobody's gonna listen to me you're empathizing that. with them <laughs> the guy with the sunburned face uh -huh. um, um and then finally we decided to ha there was one kind of concerty thing in the theater tonight they call it the Ocean Fest, which is really kind of a bunch of the different acts, musical acts on the ship all put together. Mm -hmm. um, it was mediocre. Um, yes. We didn't stay very long, well, few songs, yeah, and yeah, <laughs> left. After, after the newlywed game, they said, okay, everybody clear the theater because we need to readjust the seats so we can have a dance floor. And we were expecting a dance floor. They didn't readjust any seats. They I were don't exactly remember him saying dance floor as much as I just remember him saying, get ready for Ocean Fest. No, they got, uh, maybe it was a another person that was sitting in our oh, section okay. who said that's what they need to Maybe. do and that's why we can't hang around but um so we just kept were the uh, under the impression that it was going to be a little dancing Dan mm -hmm. had even said I'd like to do some dancing I did after not after that after that big meal I wanted to dance um, a little bit tonight. I was relieved that there was no dancing we sat through <laughs> two or three songs and called it a night yeah um, tomorrow is a big day. We're going to um, Barbados. Barbados had a lot planned. We'll tell you about that in the morning. Mm -hmm. But um, we're wrapping up tonight. So See you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on. That way, you'll be notified when new videos are released. Watch for our new Barbados video coming soon. And remember, keep living the wonderful life.